here. It's time to clean up your toys. Daddy will be home any minute, and we'll be eating dinner soon. But I'm almost done with my tour de France ride. Hello? Hi, dear. I have great news for both of you. Today at work, I received my paycheck of $1,000. It is wonderful. Maybe now we can go someplace on the beach. I've always wanted to go to Hawaii. Hawaii! Hawaii! Daddy, can we go to Hawaii? I would love to go on vacation to Hawaii, but it's probably too expensive. My $1,000 may not be enough. I was reading the Las Vegas Times, and I found an advertisement for Vacations R Us of a house that cost $130 a day for a total of seven days and a $50 non-refundable cleaning fee. Honey, do you think we can afford it? After all, you've got $1,000 today. I don't know. I wish I knew a way to figure out if we had enough money to go to Hawaii. Who are you? I am a math wizard, and I am here to help you figure out how much money you will need for your trip to Hawaii. That would be wonderful. In order to figure out how much money you will need, you will have to solve a simple math problem. Each day costs $130 to rent a house. To find out the total for seven days, all you have to do is multiply $130 times 70 days, and you get the total of $910. To this amount, you have to add the additional $50, which is a non-refundable cleaning fee for the rent of the house, and you will get a total of $960. Since you have $1,000 and the rent of the house will cost you only $960, subtracting $960 from $1,000 will leave you with $40 to spare. Wow, this seems simple. Of course, simple math problems can help you in everyday life. Thank you, Math Wizard. You're welcome. I guess now we have enough money to go to Hawaii. Going to Hawaii. Hawaii, Hawaii, we're going to Hawaii. Going to Hawaii. Going to Hawaii. Wait a sec, how will we afford the flight to Hawaii? After all, we only have $40 left. Let me take care of that. 